Hi, and welcome to CAN TV. We are here today to talk to you about the need for housing services, specifically speaking, about home ownership as well as financial empowerment. Um, my name is Guillermina Leon, and I represent LUCHA, that stands for Latin United Community Housing Association. We are a HUD-approved housing agency on the north side of the city, specifically speaking, Humboldt Park. And we are uh, here to serve the community with information as to our services for home buyer, as well as financial empowerment, and what do you need to do um, to work on those two areas, and how can we help you to also achieve those things. Um, we are located in Humboldt Park, 1152 North Christiana Avenue. Um, this is our information right here. And we are going to talk to you today about what you need to do if you wish to become a homeowner. Um, the very first thing that I recommend you would do if that is the case is Go ahead and find a HUD agency near you uh, by going to the HUD website, hud.gov. Or specifically speaking, feel free to call our agency. We'll be more than glad to help you out. Again, we are HUD approved, meaning your information is completely free um, and safe. And so the very first thing that you will do there is obtain assistance tailored to your needs. Again, the information is free. One of the very first things that is very uh, important to do first is to reach out to a person who is a professional who has experience in this area so that you can be guided uh, according to your situation. Each person's situation is very different because your circumstances are different as well. And our job as an agency is to assist you in learning what steps you need to follow in order to become a homeowner according to your own specific situation. So as a housing agency, we started back in 1982. Who we are as an agency is, again, we are HUD approved. And in 1982, there was a group of residents from the Humboldt Park, West Town, and Logan Square area looking forward to not only um, combating displacement, but looking for affordable housing and promoting that in within those particular areas. So Lucha came about. Today we look forward to assisting the community in uh, achieving home ownership, uh, affordable housing. We also do uh, affordable housing leasing. So feel free to call our agency should you be looking for housing as well. And if you have a difficulty with home ownership, specifically speaking, if you have hardship issues uh, to make your mortgage payments every month, we also do give foreclosure prevention services. So again, this is the services that we do uh, with Lucha today. We have also uh, community outreach to work with other agencies in the area and politicians to obviously work on all those things and all those issues that affect our community. So community organizing is another one of the many things that we do at Lucha. Um, as a homeowner, when you reach out to us, we are going to make sure that we tailor the counseling specific to your situation, like I said before. And this is to ensure that you are able to reach that goal of becoming a homeowner. Should you be looking for uh, affordable housing, again, reach out to us and we will make sure to, to let you know or place you on our waiting list um, for community uh, affordable housing as well. Now, our counseling staff is certified, meaning that we as HUD counselors have to be not only experienced, but also certified and recertified in certain uh, areas. We have to wear a lot of hats, obviously. Uh, we have to know uh, about real estate, about budgeting, about credit, about foreclosure, about a lot of the things that are involved in all of the particular uh, circumstances of an individual's situation. So yes, we are professional and certified. This means that you as a client or as a count, uh, counsel client 
will be receiving information from a professional. This is what we do day to day. And when we are not able to uh, assist you in some way, we are obviously related to other individuals and partners who will definitely be able to assist you. All of our counselors are bilingual, and that means that we are able to attend to you in your language. And if we can't, then we will be able to refer you to a HUD agency who can provide assistance to you. So again, reach out to Lucha or any HUD agency if you need assistance in any of these areas. As a first step, you need to know that to become a home buyer, you need to take a home buyer class. These classes are given out to teach you the steps of uh, what is the process of buying a home so that you're not in the lost when you are looking to buy a home. You know what steps to follow, what to do next, who you have to reach out to, uh, what to look out for. And these classes also teach you about what home buyer and closing cost um, and down payment assistance are there. So as a first time home buyer, there's a lot of incentives out there for you. And we talk about these in our classes um, to you as well as guide you through the process. Like I said, we are partner with many of the people who are involved in the home buying process. And we work together with them to provide these workshops to you. The workshops are bilingual and they are held twice a month. Our home buying workshop um, that is coming up will be held on Saturday, May 20th um, at the Rudy Lozano Public Library. You must register, so please feel free to call our organization to do that at 312-738-1060. Feel free to call Lucha to register. Again, the classes are also free, just as the counseling and services are free. Um, now, why do I need to talk to a counselor? And when I'm considering to buy a home, right? Or should I go to a realtor or to a bank first? It is very important to talk to a counselor when you're thinking about buying a home. The reason is, even though everybody considers themselves an expert in home buying, when you talk to a counselor, you're talking to somebody who knows the industry well. Uh, this means that we are aware of practices and requirements. Another thing is, the housing market is changing every day, as well as laws that are instituted and that affect every decision you make in relation to buying a home. So whether it's loan products or whether it's um, down payment and closing cost assistance, you need to talk to somebody who can educate you and guide you um, to help you make the largest decision if, in your life or at least one of the largest decisions in your life, which is probably the biggest investment, if not the, one of the biggest investments that you will make. So you want to make the right decisions. And how about taking advantage, which you don't have to pay for, with the housing counselor that can make sense of those decisions and that information um, customized to your needs and on your specific case. So again, we are here as the flashlight to guide your way through this, you know, tunnel of decisions that you have to make when you're walking and buying a home. So take advantage, feel free to call Lucha, talk to an expert um, counselor in housing needs for home buyers. Um, don't forget, there's also one very uh, important area, which is credit. You also have to be at a specific, um, scoring and credit situation in order to be able to buy a home. So what do you need to buy a home, right? Those are the things that we can answer for you in counseling. Yes, you need to have a stable job and have a secure income so that you can prove to the bank or your lender, whoever you choose, that you will be able to pay that loan back. However, aside from your debt and your income to determine how much house you can afford, banks will want to pull your credit when you go request uh, for them to finance you for a home. And this credit is what's gonna determine whether they qualify you or not. And so in home buyer counseling, if you are barely thinking about buying a home, we help you to look at those things. Um, Credit counseling is a part of home buyer counseling when we do uh, 
our one-to-one -one with you. And what we do is we follow, we meet with you, determine your financial situation, and then identify your situation, whether it's gonna be a long-term or a short-term situation, uh, as far as what your plan to buy a home is. Are you able to reach that goal in the immediate time? Or is this something that you need to work on that's gonna take a longer period of time? So we will have to identify that initially, and we will work with you in completing um, an, a series of steps. Um, of course, we will order a credit report for you. This is a soft pool, meaning that it's free and it does not affect your credit. Also, when we do that soft pool, it helps us to see where you stand. What is your credit score? Uh, what credit or trade lines rather do you have open? How many do you need, right? And also, um, how much debt do you actually have at the moment? Because that is going to affect how much house you can purchase. So when we order this credit report, it helps us uh, get a picture of what your credit situation looks like so we can determine what your needs are, what has to be identified as a problem, um, what needs to be done, and of course, what is our goal? So in looking at this, uh, credit profile, we evaluate all of those things to develop a plan of action tailored to you according to your needs, okay? We will then go ahead and proceed to evaluate all of that information to verify your personal information. Make sure that this is actually information that belongs to you and not to somebody else. There sometimes occurs that people do not check their credit report often and they might have actually information that is affecting them or giving them a very low credit score when in fact there is information in their credit report that might not belong to them. This is a, obviously a problem. Uh, sometimes there is identity theft. So these are things that you might have to clear out with the credit bureaus to clear your credit in order to be able to buy a home. All of this has to be done obviously with a credit check uh, tailored specifically to home buying so that we can see your needs, okay? Therefore, the importance of doing a one-on-one -on -one counseling with a housing counselor. Again, Lucha or any HUD agency can assist you uh, to meet this goal. Feel free to call our number again, Lucha, uh, Latin United Community Housing Association. We are on Christy, Anna, and Division, 312-738. 1060. Here is our information for you. We are located at 1152 North Christiana Avenue. You can also go to our main website at lucha.org and or call our housing counseling office at 773-489-8484. Now, what happens once we verify your personal information? It, again, it's, it's a very common problem to have inaccurate information found in a person's credit report or have sometimes maybe incomplete personal information, such as maybe a wrong social security number that has to be corrected. You will not be able to go any further if that's not corrected because your credit report has to match any application that you do with a lender. Uh, specifically looking for financing for a home. So that all of that information, if there are errors, they have to be corrected beforehand. Obviously, this can have also an effect on your score, whether it's positive or negative, all of this has to be looked at. So there sometimes are also people that have aliases names or other names that they have used in the past. Sometimes people find out that that is not them, that might belong to a family member, a son, a daughter, Things have to be edited in that report again to make sure that report is identified as your report only and that all the information on that report is true to you as an individual and uh, it's 100% accurate, okay? Now, we also need to verify those trade lines that are there. What if there are trade lines that don't belong to you, right? If you have credit 
that is showing or credit lines that are showing on your report and you say, but that is not mine. I don't know where that came from. Well, what to do in that case? There might be duplicate trade lines. Uh, that just gives you more debt than you need. Uh, what if there are missing positive information if you made a payment or paid something off and it is showing as unpaid? That is obviously affecting your credit score. That has to be corrected. And so you will have to address the credit bureaus to get this information corrected so that it does not impact your credit and therefore your credit score. Okay? Now, what if there are what we call derogatory trade lines? Sometimes there's information in your credit report that is negative information. Usually that is reported at the very beginning of a credit report. When that is the case, what you need to do is identify what those situations are. And uh, once you have done that, you need to make sure you know what steps to follow to get that information corrected as accurate. Now, what a counselor will do for you is help you determine or uh, in, find out what those uh, trade lines are and what needs to be done. What if you have a bankruptcy in place? Can you buy a home, right? That is a question. And the answer, if you're wondering why am I not answering, yes, you can buy a home. Normally, banks, some banks will work with you if you are two or three years past uh, a bankruptcy discharge date. There are other lenders who will not work with you until seven years have passed by. So yes, you do have an opportunity once a bank bank bankruptcy excuse me, has been discharged to buy a home, but you obviously have to start building that credit up again once the bankruptcy has been discharged. And so long as two or three years have passed, you should be able to move on forward, hoping that your credit score has uh, been built up. You have a very good credit score. You have low debt on those credit lines and, um, and your income is secure, okay? Now, that's as far as the bankruptcy, but what happens if you have a judgment and it has not been cleared? Well, then you have to take care of that judgment. That is something that has to be uh, worked on before you proceed to buy. On the other hand, if you have a lien or maybe a collection, those things you need to work out. What if you actually have something there that has been paid? Again, whether it's a payment, whether it's a lien, a judgment, or a collection, you are going to have to send proof to the credit bureaus that that has been worked out and it's paid off. <coughs> Excuse me so they can make that correction on your credit. Now, sometimes there's also charge-offs. That is also considered an adverse information on your credit report or an um, derogatory information. So yes, if there's a charge-off, you need to actually go ahead and take care of that. Uh, sometimes you might have a charge-off or a collection that has been already uh, paid. Again, proof is necessary. And that requires time also for you to send that request for correction to the bureaus with proof that it's been paid. And it requires time for them to uh, obviously correct, make that correction on your credit report. Another thing is, what if there are collections uh, that you don't recognize? Um, maybe one of the things that uh, you might want to do is do a debt validation before paying them off. They, some, many times it's common that a person will have a credit um, that has been sold out to a collection agency, and so you don't recognize who that collection agency is because, it's, because it is not the original creditor that you dealt with. What to do in that case? You obviously can resort to debt validation in order to request that the bureaus make an investigation of that trade line and prove to you that you actually owe it. Where did I sign? Are you uh, validated to correct? And so on. So you want to request proof of that and you can do that prior to paying it off so that you can in fact verify that that account is yours. So those are ways 
um, that you can deal with that. Another one is if you in fact know that you owe something, well then you will have to pay it off, right, as far as a negative account, and or maybe you can negotiate a settlement. Um, the, co the consumer will need to make that determination. When you owe something, obviously it has to be paid off. Another thing is, that's as far as your credit lines are concerned. What if you have a lot of debt? If you have a lot of debt, you, those balances need to be lowered down so that you can have open credit. This is very important to buying a home. Uh, if you have a lot of student loans talking about debt and uh, you're planning to buy a house, it's okay. Not to worry, it is not the total student loan debt that is taken into account when buying a home. It will be the monthly payments that you make towards those loans that will be taken into account. Now, what if those loans uh, are in delinquency status? If you have fallen behind on your student loans, you actually are going to have to get on time with those loans. That might mean that you might have to request a nine month uh, payment to get out of delinquency and get back on track and on time with your student loans before you can do anything. Also, uh, that being the case, once you are out of delinquency and you are on time with your student loan payments, you might want to get on an income-based plan in order to be able to take care of those monthly payments if you are having difficulty. Late payments are very uh, important to avoid when you're buying a home. Lenders will expect that you make your payments on time. As a matter of fact, how important is this? A late payment will stay on your credit report for seven years, seven and a half to be exact. It is one of the things, uh, or actually it is one of the factors that is the highest affecting your credit score. It will affect your credit score by 30%. So don't forget, we are in an age where really there should be no excuses for late payments considering that we all have now a cell phone and we can set our reminders. If you're planning to buy a home, make sure stay on top of your monthly payments, make them on time because you do have to have consecutive on-time payments for all of your credit uh, lines. And also, if you're having difficulty at any point in time with any of your debt, contact your creditor. Let them know what's going on and try to arrange a payment. They will understand. We all go through circumstances that make it difficult. So you're not on your own. This will help you maintain a better credit score. The other thing is, if you're trying to make sure your credit is well, always make your monthly payments on time. The minimum payment required, at least. If at all possible, always pay more than your minimum payment. And also, try to pay your monthly bills in, in, its, in their completion at the end of the month. If for any reason you have some big balances that you cannot take care of, at the end of the month when your bill is due, then make sure to keep your balances low uh, at all times. A very good recommendation is to maintain a, uh, an average of tw uh, 25 to 30% on your credit lines. Keep your balances always down between 25 and 30 and you should always have good credit. Um, try to avoid ever, ever going above 100% that will kill your credit. That should not be done ever. And so, um, again, keeping within that 25 or 30 is a very good rule. Keeping it up to, very, to excellent credit, try to keep your balances uh, under 10% and you will always be in uh, good top shape. That's as far as the credit requirements. Again, this is all the work that we do with you when you come to counseling with Lucha. This is for uh, credit and home buying. Now, if you are interested in addition to uh, credit counseling and home buying, as well as in leasing a, uh, a unit for affordable housing, we also do financial empowerment workshops. And these are there to help you uh, understand any uh, financial decisions you make so that you can make the best decisions at all, at all times. So we try to promote this through our empowerment workshops. We also provide strategies for financial stability and uh, present to you with innovative uh, approaches to debt payment and savings. Learn to budget, learn to manage your credit, learn about identity theft, about 
maintaining a home, uh, home buying, uh, home preservation, and a lot of other things that will help you um, empower you financially. What is our information? Well, we have our upcoming workshop on May 13, followed by one on Saturday, June 10th. Let me give you that information so that you can have it available to you. As you can see, we have here um, our workshops to be held at 1152 North Christiana. And uh, you can register today by uh, going to lucha.org slash empowerment or calling our main number 773-489-8484, extension 258, or reaching us at intake at lucha.org. We'll be more than pleased to assist you in any way. Um, lastly, should you wish to attend one of our workshops, feel free to call our um, office at 773-489-8484. They are held from 10 to 4, twice a month. And that's all I have for you today. It's been a real pleasure uh, assisting you with information. Hopefully it has been of uh, help to you. Feel free to uh, call our office at 312-738-1060 or 773-489-8484. Until next time, have a wonderful day.